I think the best way to let you know who this year's honoree is going to be, and I don't think he even knows himself, is to ask the question, what do most top country artists have in common? They all love and admire one very special country performer. He's inspired so many of the new country artists. His whole thing is, is exactly what I've always perceived country music to be in its purest form. He gets more notes in a lick than anybody I've ever heard and sings them all in tune. It's tough. If you can keep up with him, you're, you're singing. Seems like as he, as he got older, he got better. If you looked up country, country singer uh, in the dictionary, it would have George Jones' name and, and a picture of the possum. I second everything that you just heard, and yes, the possum George Jones is this year's Pioneer Honoree. We want to tell the whole world why we think this award is long overdue. Lord, I wonder who's going to fill their shoes. Just as the current generation of country artists grew up listening and learning from George Jones and Merle Haggard, as a boy, George's favorites were Hank Williams, Lefty Frizzell, and Roy Acuff. That kind of love and respect has made country the rich and unique kind of music that it is today. George Glenn Jones was born in Saratoga, Texas, and brought up in the Big Thicket, a section of East Texas. His mama was church pianist and his daddy, a pipe fitter, played guitar. When George turned nine, his folks gave him his own guitar and then there was no stopping him. He never forgot those gospel songs he first heard and sang in the Saratoga Assembly of God Church. In his late teens, his stint in the Marine Corps, and his early recording career, George idolized Hank Williams. In George's first national hit in 1955, Why Baby Why, it's easy to hear Hank's influence on George's musical style. But as he kept growing, George just kept bringing on the hits and developing that individual style and those great country licks that many of us have borrowed over the years. I know I borrowed a ton of them. Stole them, really. <laughs> My favorite all-time George Jones song is a song called The Race Is On. Well, the race is on and here comes pride in the back. that George and Tammy exchanged marked the beginning of one of the most successful musical pairings in music history. The music that we did together was very special to me, the most special of anything I've done during my 25 years of being in the business. I can't hold out much But the marriage ended stormily in 1974, the beginning of a very rough stretch in George's life. The possum was becoming known as No Show Jones, and George was living the words of his songs. Lord, if drinking don't kill me, Timmy's memory My favorite song George ever did is always going to be He Stopped Loving Her Today. Despite the hard times he was going through, this song coming almost 20 years after his Best Male Vocalist Awards in the early 60s, won him Song of the Year, Top Male Vocalist Awards, right here in 1981 on the Academy Show. The top male vocalist of this year and any year, George Jones. And I think my ex-wife and my new husband-in-law. <laughs> Thank you so much. But George's life kept spiraling upwards right into a Birmingham hospital. Maybe it's not the right way, but wrong's what I do best. And then, 
he met Nancy. It took a lot of years to get him to understand that you can cope with life without picking up a drink and, and trying to settle it with that. I said, well, there's somebody still cares, and, and uh, I believe I can do it again. George and Nancy got married, and after that, went back to his big thicket home for a while. But I've always been lucky with you. With Nancy's love, his family's help, and the support of his fellow artists and fans, George could and did do it again. In 1992, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. I've still got me on in my veins. And here's what some well-known fans have to say about George's winning the Academy of Country Music's Pioneer Award. If we all sang like we wanted to, we'd all sound like George Jones. A hundred years from today, people will still be saying, I want to grow up to sing like George Jones. I figure everybody's going to talk about his singing and his records and the influence that he's had on everybody. But I want to talk about something even more important, his hair. <laughs> it's perfect. George, there probably aren't a lot of people who deserve the Pioneer Award, but of those few, you are at the top of the list. Of course, nobody deserves it more, and I'm sure everybody out there agrees nobody can appreciate it as much as we do for you. Mr. Jones, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the chance to tell you what you've meant to me and to country music. I've always admired you and your music and learned so much from you. As you well know, I opened up my very first major concert for you in the early 80s in Ashland, Kentucky. For artists like myself and for people all around the world, you, sir, are one of the most important country music pioneers ever. Yes, you're a pioneer, but Again, you are country music. I don't need your rocking chair. Uh, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, the possum rides again, Mr. George Jones. Bless your heart, thank you. I'm gonna pull a Freddy heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> I do want you to know that from the bottom of my heart, I love you. I love all the fans. I love country music from the very, very bottom of my heart. That's the reason I've stayed with it. And I'll always stay with it as long as I live. I'd just like to thank MCA Records for still believing in me. And also the wonderful millions of fans that has really been with me by my side throughout my whole entire career. And if I had one last wish, I would like to wish that radio, somewhere uh, along the way, would uh, pay a little bit more attention to us older artists. We're not dead yet. Thank you. Touchstone Duet and learn the winner of the Top Female Vocalist Award next on the Academy of Country Music Awards.